Well, what's going on, DMG Clan? Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to dump your BIOS for playing PlayStation 1 emulation on either your Windows PC handheld, your handheld, or your Windows PC, or your Steam Deck, whatever you want to play it on. So let's level up our gaming knowledge in the PlayStation series even more in 2024. <laughs> That's right, mobile gamers. So today I'm going to show you guys how to dump your BIOS the legal way, as there is another way to do it. But the fun, or at least I think more fun way, using your original hardware being the PS1. Yes, this PS1 has been around for a long time. As you can see, it's pretty gross. Now, you do need a PS1 for this, and you do need a couple more things. So I'm going to show you what you need. I'm going to share how to do this and explain quickly here why you need your BIOS. So the BIOS is basically the back end for PlayStation to run on an emulation handheld or your handheld in general running Duck Station or PSX, PSSX2 for the Windows handhelds out there. And that is basically it. You don't really need to know too much more about it, but dumping your own BIOS both feels good and it's legal. You can do it yourself. Well, at least in my country it is. I'm in Canada, eh? So dumping your BIOS will require some items. First, you need a PlayStation. This is pretty obvious. Next, you need a PSX memory card. I have attached a link in the description below where you can buy one of these. Also, get yourself a CDR. CDs and well a CD DVD burner. I know this is kind of weird, but that's what we need for this So we can burn the program to the CD next. We're gonna jump over to the computer We're gonna download the DMG BIOS dumping tools zip file You're going to extract the zip file and then you're going to install a program called image burn Just follow the prompts once it's installed then we'll be ready to go now that image burn is installed We're gonna open it and burn the dumper.q file by selecting write image to disk. But before we write the image, we're gonna select from the drop down menu where it says write speed. It should say AWS and change that to 10X. Now we're going to put the blank CD into our DVD CDR burner. The next thing you're gonna do is navigate to the little folder icon that's right beside please select the file. And then you're gonna navigate to your downloads folder, navigate to the DMG BIOS dump tools folder, Navigate to the dumper CD image folder and then select dumper.q. Next, you're gonna subscribe to the channel and click on write to disk. Now at this point, you're gonna have to actually manually close your disk tray unless you have a disk tray that closes by itself. So do that now and then wait for it to actually finalize the burning process. Now we're gonna plug in our PSXX memory card into our PlayStation. Make sure there's no games in the games card slot and then turn it on. What we're gonna be doing here is making sure that there's no games stored on the memory card, which there shouldn't be if you just bought this thing. If there is, make sure to back them up on your computer somewhere. Now we're going to take that burnt disc out of our DVD burner and put it into our PlayStation 1. Make sure you turn off your PlayStation first before you actually do this and then turn it back on. Now, if you've done everything correctly, you'll be first presented with a scary screen like this. Don't worry, it's not licensed by Nintendo or anything. And then you'll be presented with another screen where we actually start the dumping process. Now, you'll see that there are five parts. This process is a little bit tedious with this method because what we have to do is we have to select part one and then let it do its thing. And then we have to take the micro SD card out of the memory card and then we're gonna copy the 0.mcr file over to our computer. So plug your micro SD card into your computer, right click on this file, select copy, and then paste it into your downloads folder. I'm gonna paste it into the folder that we just extracted, and then I'm going to rename this. Rename this to part one. Now we're gonna open up another program. This program is located in the DMG BIOS dump tools. First, you're gonna look for the memcard rex 1.8. Now you're going to open up the memcard rex.exe. Then you're going to navigate to file. You're going to go to open and then you're going to go to your SD card. You're going to look for the file that says 0.mcr and then it's going to open up all the actual data that is located on that SD card. So there should only be a one file on there, which is the part one BIOS. You're going to click that file and then click delete, then click yes. Once you've deleted it, click on file again and then click save. This will save directly right to that SD card and then your micro SD card will be blank once again, which is needed to dump all of the rest of those parts. So do this multiple times until you are done five parts. Now that you have all five parts dumped from your PS1 or your PlayStation, you're going to go into this program again called memcard rex 1.8. So double click on the folder, click on memcardrex.exe. 
you're going to go to file, you're going to go to open, you're going to navigate to wherever you saved all five of those parts, and then you're going to open all of these. So highlight them all and then click open. It'll open up five different tabs at the top. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on file, click save as, and then you're going to navigate into the BIOS merge windows folder and save this as part one. Now that's going to be for part one, name it exactly the way that I named it, which is capital P, lowercase a, lowercase r, lowercase t, one. Now click save and then do that for the rest of all of these parts. So file, save as, and then go part two, part three, part four, part five. Now you're done. Now the next thing we have to do is actually merge all of those parts. So exit out of memcard rex, go back to the DMG BIOS tools, Go to the BIOS merge windows, and then you're going to double click on the BIOS merge.exe. If you did everything correctly, it'll say part one, part two, part three, part four, part five is all found. Merging files, done. Press the any key to continue. If you don't have an any key, it's just the enter button. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment on this video if you want to gain an entry into the Odin 2 base model PlayStation giveaway. And copy your scphxxx.bin file somewhere safe on your computer because that is your BIOS and we're going to need that for the final video. I love you all. Have a nice day. See you next time.